I have ordered from my husband some chunky columns and he's gonna show you how he chunky columns. It. All right. So yeah, so normally I've done one by sixes. I think we did one by eights before, but um, we wanted to do something bigger, chunkier, if you will. So we went with these one by tens and I use this PVC product. I love it. It is basically weather resistant. So you can see I went ahead and put this first one up because I was trying to kind of figure out how I was going to do my trim and my soffit and so forth. But what I have it nailed onto is the cedar post. Um, and then I have this on for more support. But the Cedar Post is basically another product that is very weather resistant. It holds up great. You're gonna get many, many years out of this. Um, the reason why I don't like using pressure treated, even though it's great in certain applications, is uh, they can tend to twist, especially the four by fours and six by sixes. And then before you know it, you've got a twisted column. So anyway, here is our PVC trim that we're gonna use, one by tens, our Cedar Post. Now we're going to get started on putting this thing together. So guys, basically there's only a couple things we need when we're going to do this. I am using this liquid nails, it's called Fuse It. And I'm doing this because instead of like wood glue, we're using PVC, remember? We're going to put just a small bead of this product down the length of the boards, okay? And then we are going to use 18 gauge nailer. These are so handy, um, you don't have to tug a compressor around and work around that hose. So the other three things you're gonna need is a miter saw, you're gonna need a tape measure, and you're gonna need a pencil, okay? So this isn't uh, extremely difficult. Anyone can do this. It's all about being safe, wearing your safety goggles, and when you're working with the saw, just to be careful. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and show you how we do this. And by the way, these boards, you'll notice, Dirty. There's two sides. Yes, they are dirty, um, but there's two sides. You're going to have a heavy kind of a wood grain on one side. Some people like that for what we're doing. I'm not crazy about it. So the other side is the smooth side. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using. All right, so as I said, we're gonna put a bead of this liquid nails material, just, just a small bead before we start putting up the trim. So the basic box of the column is built. I'm gonna now move on to the base and the crown part of this. I'm gonna use a one by eight base because we want something, again, to go with a bigger, chunkier, more substantial column. We want a bigger base. So we're gonna go with the one by eight. I'll show you how I do that. You can do a, uh, I believe they call it a butt joint or a 45. So we're gonna use the 45s. It's a little better look. So I'll show you that. Obviously, we're gonna fill these, any of the seams with a light caulk and any of the nail holes, but we'll do that later. So I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways and, and somebody that does this every day would probably have a much better way to do this. But when I'm doing my trim and I'm doing a 45, I'll cut a piece like this and put it up to my trim. And from this corner, I'll then set it up and mark where the edge of my board is. And that's where my 45 is gonna stop. Same principle on the top, only difference is I'm using one by six, and actually I am using this primed wood. Um, I'm not as concerned with this being on top and being wood because it's gonna get very little weather. Um, but again, one by six on the top, 
We're doing the one by eight on the bottom and that is the PVC product. Mm -hmm. 